This video is sponsored by DistroKid. In this video, we'll talk about music distribution and I'm going to show you how to put your music on Spotify and on the main streaming platforms and music stores. Let's get right into it. Some of you know that I've released several singles on Spotify and basically everywhere where people consume music. And you can do it as well, it's really easy. The first thing you need to know is that you can't upload music directly to Spotify, Apple Music, Deezer, Tidal, basically any streaming service or store. To do that, you need a music aggregator. A music aggregator is basically a service where you upload your music and then they send it to Spotify and basically everywhere else. The main two exceptions are SoundCloud and Bandcamp. Those two websites actually let you create an account and upload music as if you were uploading a photo to Instagram. So if you want to put your music on Spotify and make money from it, the aggregator that I always recommend is DistroKid. And they are also the sponsor of this video. I've been using DistroKid for a couple of years now to distribute my own music. I love this service and when they asked me if they could sponsor one of my videos, it was a no-brainer. You can click the link down in the description or go to distrokid.com slash VIP slash Adrian to get 7% off your first year's membership. DistroKid is by far the easiest and cheapest way to put your music online. I did a bunch of research before choosing DistroKid and I couldn't find anything that came close. DistroKid starts at $19.99 US dollars for a full year and during that time you can upload as much as you want. You can put out one song or release 10 albums, the price is still the same. Other services will charge you more than $50 for a full year for just one album. And on top of being less expensive, they pay you 100% of your royalties. That is not usual, believe it or not. DistroKid also puts your music basically everywhere you want it to be. My music is in more services than I even know existed. But you can select exactly which ones you want. They can put your music on TikTok now if you're into that. It's actually really cool to upload a story to Instagram and select one of my own songs for the music. This is my dashboard and here you can see all my releases. We're gonna go to the upload page and I'm gonna show you just how simple it is. First, they let you select all the platforms where you want your music to be available. And you have Spotify, Apple Music, iTunes, Instagram, and Facebook, that's for Instagram stories. Now they have TikTok, as I mentioned earlier, and you have YouTube Music, Amazon, pretty much everything you want. And they always keep adding more. I always see like one or two new services every time I release something every couple of months. As you can see, they just added Snapchat as well. It's on beta. Next, you have the number of songs. For one song, it's gonna be a single, but if it's gonna be more than that, you can select exactly how many files you're gonna upload for your album. Here you can select if the music was already released. If you select yes, it's gonna ask you for the date when it was first released. Then it's going to ask you for your artist name or your band. And make sure you're reading the instructions because you don't wanna do anything weird with the characters and then have your music rejected by stores. Then it's gonna ask for the artist name on Spotify. I already have it linked to my artist profile as well as Apple Music. Music. If it's your first time uploading music, it's gonna ask for your artist name for Spotify, as well as Apple Music. Then it's asking for the release date, and this is when you want it to be published on Spotify and everywhere else. This is not available on the basic plan, but I'm gonna get more into that in just a second. Then you can select if you want people to be able to pre-order it on iTunes and Amazon. Here you can see the name of my record label, Reactor 4. If you don't have a record label or a label name, it's just gonna ask you to come up with something on the spot it's really not a big deal. Here you're gonna upload your cover art and this is really important. Also make sure you're reading these instructions. The optimal size as you can see here is 3000 by 3000 pixels. You want your album art to be nice and high resolution. And again, read the instructions. Don't increase the size of smaller images because it's gonna look pixelated. Here have more guidelines, no URLs. And also make sure you own the artwork or have permission from the artist. Here's the language of the song, the primary genre. For example, something like, I don't know, hip hop rap, and then the secondary genre, maybe K-pop. Is that a thing? I don't know. Here, you're gonna write the name of the song, the single, or whatever you're uploading. If it's a cover, don't include the name of the original artist here. You're gonna do that later. This is just for the title of the song. You can add collaborators, and here is where you upload your file. You can upload a WAV file, WMA, M4A, FLAC and MP3. I recommend WAV file or FLAC because those are very high quality 
and most stores don't have problems with those. I always use WAV files. Here you specify if it's your song or if it's a cover, here is where you add all the extra information and where you pay for the license for the cover. I usually don't do covers, so I'm gonna say that I wrote it. And here, more for legal reasons, you have to include your actual name or whatever is the full actual legal name of the songwriter or composer. This is not gonna be displayed on the artist's name on Spotify. Your artist's name was the one that you wrote before, but this is more for the legal part of things. So this is where I usually select music and lyrics because I just do everything myself, although I usually don't do any vocal music, I think. And I just write my full legal name here. Explicit lyrics, <laughs> I love how they have yes by default, but no, I usually don't have, well, any lyrics at all. <laughs> is it a radio edit? Is it an instrumental? I usually just have instrumentals. You can select the price for iTunes and Amazon. And here have a bunch of extras. YouTube content ID is the thing that lets you know when somebody is using your music on their videos. As you can see here, when your music is detected in any YouTube video, you'll be notified and ad revenue will automatically go to you, which is pretty cool. And then you have some more specific add-ons that you can add on <laughs> and then you have to agree to these things the first one i think is pretty funny i selected youtube music as a store so i won't email district kid later asking why do you upload my music to youtube okay <laughs> when your music is on youtube music on the youtube music app it's also on youtube.com for example i have my youtube channel with my name but there's also another channel with my name but it's listed as topic those are videos with my music and the video part of the video is the artwork and that's automatically generated by youtube music so keep that in mind i think there's a couple of options here that might be a little bit different for you if you have the basic plan you can see all the differences is here but I have used the basic plan and the process is pretty much the same and I can't stress enough how simple the process is it literally takes me five minutes to upload the music the artwork the information and that's it the first time I did it it took me a little bit longer because I was setting everything up but after that it's all ready to go I used to work at a recording studio where we also did some music publishing for the artists and sometimes I uploaded the music at that place they used a different service and I remember it took me like half an hour to fill out all the information and send the request and on top of that we had to pay for every single release I was like what are you guys doing anyways this kit also gives you access to Spotify for artists it shows you how your releases are performing where people are listening from and much more you can even customize the look of your Spotify profile which is pretty awesome once again click the link down in the description or go to distrokid.com slash VIP slash Adrian to get 7% off your first year's membership. Thank you so much to DistroKid for sponsoring this video. I hope you found this video helpful. If you liked it, please give it a like and consider subscribing. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.